welcome back to our channel, I'm Sanj, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own DIY survival kit. And this survival kit is great for school. So I'm showing you guys how to make a very nice and easy and also kind of different survival kit for most of the survival kits you guys have probably seen. So you guys can name a problem and there will be a solution to everything in the survival kit. So there is like basically everything you'll need at school and you will never have a problem. You'll probably be known as a person that has never had a problem at school because everything you need to survive at school is in this kit. So let's go ahead and get into this video and see how to make the survival kit. So the first thing I'm using to store all my stuff is this bag for my survival kit. And you wanna choose a bag that's nice and spacious that has lots of space to store stuff inside. So I just chose this nice bag here. Some of the things that I'm going to be taking in my survival kit this year. So the first thing I have are some Tic Tac mints and these are great for in case your breath smells bad or just like in case like for example you have cramps and you want to like calm your stomach down because you need to stay at school to do a test or something then these are the perfect thing to use. Okay so now I'm going to show you guys the next thing. The next thing I have are some safety pins and rubber bands and these are great in case like for example your shirt seam like the stitching breaks you can put the safety pin to pin it back or maybe your button fall fell off uh, really anything you can use safety pins for that and then the rubber bands are for maybe you have a gym you just tie up your hair or you're hot or really anything maybe you're doing arts and crafts at school and you don't want paint or anything in your hair then you can tie your hair up so that's why I have that So the next thing I have is some deodorant. And the reason why I have deodorant is in case you might be sweating at school, you might need some deodorant so that you don't start to smell bad. And also after gym class, it's really good to have deodorant so that you don't start to sweat and smell bad because you don't want to smell bad and you don't want everyone looking at you and realizing why you smell bad. So that's why I have some deodorant. And a good tip is to use a travel size one so you don't have to take a nice big one. So travel size is a great size. Okay, the next thing I have is some lotion. And I just have some lotion in case my hands are dry and I just like need it to moisturize my skin. So that's why I have that. It's just some normal lotion, nothing special. And then I have this organizer here with a couple of stuff that I need. So the first thing I have is a comb in case my hair is tangled, just to go ahead and brush it up. Then I have this nail filer, which is super duper super 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 handy like in case your nail breaks and it's like really sharp you don't want to cut yourself by accident so you can use a nail filer to soften the edges. I just have some q-tips for any type of use really you can just use them for anything. I have a like. nail cutter in case my uh, nail breaks which I have experienced because my nail broke so many times last year like once I was uh, opening my locker like just opening my locker and then my thumbnail right here just broke and I was struggling the whole day because it was it broke at an angle, so it was not the safest. But yeah, that's why I decided to include a nail cutter with me this year in my survival kit. So it's always good to do that. So the next thing I have is this tie to go pen, and this is really helpful it's because I have uniforms in my school, and you don't want to make sure that you have any stains on them. So this is also good even if you don't have uniforms, you can still use it. If you get like a stain on your shirt and if you're eating lunch or anything, you can just use this pen. You just gotta put a little bit on the stain and then wipe it off and it's super duper easy and I definitely recommend that you have this in your survival kit. So the next thing I have is the pack of tissues and really you can use this for anything in case you have a runny nose or really anything. It's just always good to have tissues with you. Have is just some hand sanitizer and this is good for in case you don't have like a washroom nearby you and you need to clean your hands before you eat or really just anywhere uh, you can have a bottle of hand sanitizer and it's really helpful to kill germs because we don't want germs on ourselves all day long so that's why it's really good to have with you I have a couple of things that I usually need so I have some bandages and in case you get cut and then I have this alcohol swab which you can use to clean your cut and then put a bandage on and then sometimes during lunch you get some food stuck in your teeth, so I have these glosses. And if you have like a big round, you can use these cotton swabs to put on top of it um, after you clean it with the uh, alcohol swab and then put a bandage on top. And then I have this lip gloss for keeping your um, lips moisturized. Because no one wants dry lips, right? So the next thing I have is um, this Ziploc bag with an extra underwear in case you leak. So it's always good to bring it in a Ziploc bag so that you can use this one and then put the dirty one in here so it's not going to get over your survival kit or in your bag wherever you're going to put it. Always, so it's always good to have an extra bag to put your dirty underwear in. 
The next thing I have is this bag, and just in here I have some pads. It's normal stuff that you need every day. So here you can see. And I just keep them in here so that they're kind of hidden, so that if like you open your survival kit, no one's gonna see it. So they're just in here. Okay, and then the next thing I have, which is the last thing, are just some extra pants. In case you leak on your pants, you um, and I need some extra pants so that you can last throughout the whole day at school and not have like a stain on your pants, which is why I have an extra pair of those. So always keep an extra pair of pants. Make sure that your underwear and your pants are a dark color. Don't bring white or pink or anything light. Like a navy blue or like a black is the best color to wear. Here are all the things that are going to be going in my survival kit, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize it and put it in your bag. That's gonna go in this row kit is some extra pair of leggings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right on the side. The pads are gonna go straight in right next to my extra leggings. My extra underwear is going to go right beside the pads. The next thing I'm going to be putting inside is the deodorant, and I'm going to put that right beside the underwear. So just like this, I'm gonna stack it up. Next, I'm gonna put some mints in. We're gonna put some tissues in sanitizer in right over there okay so i'm going to put some lotion in. i'm going to put it in this place so that the lotion doesn't leak and i'm just going to put it right over here all of these things are going to be going straight down on the side so i'm going to go ahead and put that in like so that's how it's going to fit inside so these next things are going to go straight in like this The tie to go pen is just going to go right over here on the side. Put the safety pins and the rubber bands um, on the flap, the side of the bag. This way, I don't have to dig through everything and it's easy to find. So, I'm just going to go ahead and close this now. Okay, and you can see it too. And then you have everything that you need. Okay, and that's your survival kit. Super duper easy. So I hope that you guys like how I organized my survival little kit and showed you guys everything that's inside. And yeah, I think that I have everything in here that I'm going to need for school. So that's all settled. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and let us know if you guys are making a survival kit this year and what you keep in yours. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!